Welcome back here at NFOC. I got Greg Toback with Enritsu. Greg, you've been coming here several years. Uh, sure have. What brings you back to NFOC 2016? Well, NFOC is always an exciting venue to participate in. There's a lot of key customers that visit here, both for the educational aspects and also to learn about new products. So it's a very exciting venue to be able to interface with a lot of the people we work with every day, continue to build our relationships together. You mentioned new products now. The MT-1000 platform I saw last year was new. What do you have that's new on it for the modules this year? We were talking about that a little bit yesterday. Sure, so the MT-1000 platform has really started to be embraced by the industry. What we've done is we've expanded the capabilities. The MT-1000 originally was designed as a combination of a transport tester as well as OTDR to be able to do multiple wavelengths of fiber to the antenna tower testing, short range enterprise, and long level high speed testing for OC192 and above. We've now added to that capability the ability to do CIPRI RF. And CIPRI RF, what that does is it lets us take that complex test of being able to test at a fiber tower. RF information that's being transmitted up over fiber using the CIPRI, or Common Public Radio Interface, needs to be measured for two pieces of information. One of them is the passive state. So what happens when you're building the tower? We need to know that those SFP cards are running at the same speed on the ground as well as on the tower top, that are operating at the same wavelength and the same capacity. We also need to know that the fiber plant can handle that capacity or rate going up to the tower. And the tower rates can be everything from about 600 megabytes all the way up to 10 gigabits a second. Oh, wow. So you're testing the, the full signal and the load on it as well. Correct. Nice. Correct. And then the next progression, what we just introduced this year, is the RF over SIPR. The ability to look at an operating cellular system and measure the spectrum of what's coming out of the antenna at the tower top. By doing that, we can identify from the ground if there's the presence of an external interferer or the presence of PIM, a passive intermodulation, which is caused by signals mixing together, and that creates a diode effect of any dissimilar material. If that diode effect is high enough to go back in the receive path, it's going to interfere with the base station performance, causing dropped calls, loss of video, and dissatisfied customers. And the noise floor up, yeah. Absolutely. So by measuring the CIPRI RF, we can tell from the ground if the problem resides at the top of the tower before expending the costly tower crew to go up and do a climb. Very nice. That's an awesome platform here. Very, very proud of it. Always, always, always expanding. Always expanding. MT-1000, guys, check this thing out.